Pentatonic scales, how to practice and use immediately. Apply the pentatonic sound into your playing. Pentatonic scales and hip pentatonics are not only for Michael Brecker, John Coltrane, Bob Burke. You can easily get a really, really great pentatonic sound with just a few tools in your backpack. If you get good information out of my videos, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. lines and licks. How do you practice pentatonic scales the best? Apply pentatonic scales into your own playing, show, play and analyze two pentatonic licks on a 2-5-1. Hi there, I'm Sam Bellegor and welcome to Sam Bellegor saxophone lessons. Why are pentatonics linked to a modern sound? <laughs> The pentatonic scale is quite common sound in modern jazz, maybe started by John Coltrane but for sure followed up by so many other great saxophone players. The modern sound of the pentatonic scale I believe comes from the open intervals the pentatonic scale has. If you compare the normal major scale to the pentatonic scale you have 7 notes in the major scale but only 5 notes in the pentatonic scale. This just leaves a lot of room for an open sound. When you start making the jumps and arpeggios in the pentatonic scale, which you will also do in the major scale, you get bigger jumps in the pentatonic scale. You get a lot of spaces which you already have in an open scale like the pentatonic scale, but these just gets more, more, more space. The open sound is a modern sound. Compared to the bebop and the chromatic close harmony related sound where you touch all the target notes in the chords, all the normal down to earth one, three, five, seven notes, the pentatonic scale touches less of the basic chord notes but more of the upper structures. This makes the pentatonic scale more wake and more spaced out. Also, this gives the modern sound to it. Another feature of the pentatonic scale is that the scale only emphasizes a certain amount of the target notes of the chord. You often do not get the full row of chord notes which you get when you play a 7 note scale, but instead you get important chord notes and some more or less great extensions inside and outside the chord. We'll get back to this later. What is a pentatonic scale. I've gotten used to looking at the pentatonic scale from the minor side. So when I refer to a pentatonic scale in this tutorial and basically anywhere else I refer to pentatonic scales, I will always refer to the minor version of the pentatonic scale, the normal pentatonic scale. So what is a pentatonic scale? Penta means five and the pentatonic scale is a five note scale. The pentatonic scale is derived from the major scale. There you have the major scale. So we take some of these notes out and then we get the pentatonic scale. The pentatonic, we want five notes. So we're taking out the root, the ninth, the fifth and the sixth of the major scale. This means we're looking at the C, the D, the E, the G and the A. When we put these together, we get a pentatonic scale. I'm always looking at the pentatonic scale from the minor. So my minor pentatonic scale in A looks like this. A, C, D, E, G. Like that. The intervals in my pentatonic scale is a from A to C a minor third, from C to D a second, from D to E another second and from E to G a minor third. Building pentatonic lines and licks. First we have to get to know where we can fit in our pentatonic scale. 
The scale is derived from the C major scale. We start looking at the chords and the scale relationships there. When we look at the A minor pentatonic scale, we see the following notes. Of course, the A, the C, the D, the E and the G. Basically, these notes spell out an A minor chord. In the pentatonic scale, we have an extra note. So we have the A, the C, the E and the G, but we have a D in there. On the A minor chord, this is the 11th. So we get an A minor 7, 11. A great chord, but you can play, just play the A minor pentatonic scale, you get this sound. Another chord you can look at is the C major chord, which also fits in this A minor pentatonic scale. So you have the A, the C, the D, the E and the G. If we're looking at our C major chord, we have the C, the E and the G. The two added notes, the D and the A, is the 6th and the 9th of the C major chord. So we get a C major 6 9 chord. If I rearrange this, it sounds like this. great sound there too. When we're looking further in the scale of the A minor pentatonic scale, we get the F major chord. The notes of the F major chord are the F, the A, the C, the E, and on the minor pentatonic scale, the A minor pentatonic scale, we have the notes A, C, E. Those are very common notes in the F major scale. So we get an F major 9, 13 on the a minor pentatonic scale with the D as the 13 and the G as the 9. If we push it a little bit, we can also get a D minor 7, 9, 11 chord out there. So it's a little bit more vague because there are some notes we actually do not have in the A minor pentatonic scale. But if we start, we have the D minor, D, F, A, C, E, G, that's a D minor, 7, 9, 11 chord. We have the notes in the pentatonic, the A minor pentatonic scale, that's A, C, D, E, G. So we have the A, the C, the D, E as the ninth, and G as the 11. <laughs> with the D minor chord is that we are missing the essential third of the D minor chord, the F. Further out and not so commonly used is the E minor chord in combination with the A minor pentatonic scale. The E minor chord is E, G, B, D and then we have the A and the C of the A minor pentatonic scale. So the chord is so it's a little bit uncommon, and we have the pentatonic scale. Yeah, the A is the 11, and the C is the flat 13 on an E minor chord. A little bit uncommon to use. When we are connecting the scales to the chords, we see that the scale is not fitting the whole chord always. This is what I mentioned earlier, the open modern sound. You get a certain amount of extensions, which gives you a peculiar sound. So you actually focus on these extensions, together with some of the chord notes, and this gives this great pentatonic sound. The other chord scale combinations. There are many other combinations in which you can use the pentatonic scales. I'll only mention a few others here and save some for other videos. A minor pentatonic on a C7 chord. The notes of the C7 chord is C, E, G, B flat, D to the C7, 9. The A minor pentatonic is A, C, D, E, G. So actually we get the C, the G and the E in there as the basic chord notes. Then we have the D, that's the 9, and we have an A as the 13. So we get this sound. A really cool sound on a C7 chord. We can use the A minor pentatonic scale on a B flat major chord also. 
then we get a great sharp 11-9 sound. So the B flat major chord sounds like this. Then you have the 9, that's the C, and you have an E in there in the pentatonic scale, that's the sharp 11. So you get the D as the 3rd, the A as the 7th, then you get the C as the ninth of the B flat major 7, you get the E as the sharp 11 on the B flat major, and you get the G in there as a 13 or a 6 in there. So that's a very, very great sound on a B flat major chord, the A minor pentatonic on a B flat major sharp 11 chord. These chords and scale combinations means that the pentatonic scale is usable in situations where you encounter the chords in an improvisation or a melody. The choice is then how you want to use the pentatonic sound. How do you practice the pentatonic scales the best? The best way to practice your pentatonic scale is the way you want to use them. Thinking from the function of the chord, thinking of the function of the sound you want to produce and then adding a pentatonic scale and in the context you want to play and practice the context. Working this out in a stepwise fashion. Where do you want to apply your pentatonic scale? Straightforward. On an A minor vamp with a funky groove, start practicing the A minor pentatonic thinking A minor chord at the same time. I'm thinking the A minor chord, I have this great extension, you saw it earlier, the a minor 7 chord A, C, E, G, and then we added this D, which is in the A minor pentatonic scale. So we get this sound. And the pentatonic scale. So the following exercises are really great to go through because these are directly applicable in your practice and you can actually use them in your soloing or in your playing as well. The first exercise is 8 up, 8 down, just playing up the pentatonic scale and down the pentatonic scale. 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> playing this, the pentatonic scale is implying the A minor 11 and I'm thinking the chord the whole time. So I'm not thinking, oh I'm practicing an A minor uh, pentatonic scale, I'm thinking A minor 11 chord. If you want to play this on a C major chord and use the pentatonic sound, you can think the C6-9 chord and use this exercise. So now I'm starting on the C of the pentatonic scale to get this C sound in there. So I'm also thinking C, 6, 9, and I'm starting the exercise on a C. I'm moving 4 up, 4 down in the scale. 1, 2, 3. practicing this. See the extension, see that the A is the 6 and the D is the 9 of the C major chord here. So try to really think these notes in your head when you are practicing this. That's the most important thing, connecting the scale to a function to a chord. Using the pentatonic scale on a chord like the C major 6 9 is a really great sound. You get a little bit another sound than just the normal C major chord. You should try to play the pentatonic scale in intervals. I'm doing this, I'm skipping one note down and then I'm just playing intervals like in thirds you would do with the major scale, but basically I'm just skipping one note down, going one step up, skipping one note down. It sounds like this. One, two, three. <laughs> Just keep repeating the exercise down the scale. 
more pentatonic scale exercises. Getting the pentatonic scale and chord relations into your fingers takes some practice. The very nice thing with the pentatonic scale is that it sounds very good very fast. Getting you a good push in your practice of the pentatonic scales, connecting chords, making licks and lines, I will introduce you to the Pentatonic Manual Volume 1. Here I have made an overview of the most common pentatonic scale chord relationships. Added exercise on how to practice the pentatonic scales connected to a chord. Further, I have made a good amount of pentatonic lines where you can see how you can use the pentatonic scales in your playing. Check the link in the description. Apply pentatonic scales into your own playing. Getting this to work in real life is a great way both to practice the chords, pentatonic sound and your technique. Give it an easy start, add this to a chord over which you play. The pentatonic sound is a very strong and clear sound which you immediately recognize. Going into a small lick in a 5-1 on C major, so a G7 C major chord. On the G7 I just played a simple going up the scale, the, the normal major scale, the dominant scale of the G7 and then I'm going down the scale again. Resolving to the third of the C major, the E. Playing the pentatonic scale, the A minor pentatonic scale from the E and I'm using this pattern, skip up step down that one is an important one to practice when you're practicing your pentatonic scale it's also mentioned in the pentatonics manual changing between two pentatonic scales is also a very very nice sound so playing over g minor and a c7 here on the G minor, I'm using the G minor pentatonic, and on the C7, I'm again using the A minor pentatonic. So one step away from each other, these two G minor pentatonic, A minor pentatonic. And you hear it gets quite a spacey sound because you only get these special intervals um, from the pentatonic scale. I'll just play that one more time. I play up the G minor pentatonic scale because it fits the G minor chord. Then I skip a little down on the G. On the C7 I play an A minor pentatonic which leaves out the B flat, the 7th of the C7, but it gives me the 9 and the 13. Try adding this to your own playing. Start slowly, really slowly, by playing only a few notes of the pentatonic scales on the chord. You'll be amazed by the sound. Show, play, analyze two pentatonic licks on 251's first example pentatonic jazz line. The sound is inside the key. With the pentatonic scale you get another emphasis of the chord notes because you have certain extensions in the scale and all the notes of the scale becomes target notes. So all the notes of the pentatonic scale suddenly becomes target notes. the D minor 7 chord, I'm using a D minor pentatonic scale. You hear it's relatively inside the sound because the notes of the D minor 7 and the D minor pentatonic scale is almost the same. We get the 11 as an extension which is pretty common on a minor chord, on the D minor 11. On the G7, 13, I'm using an E minor pentatonic scale that gives us the extensions the 9 of the G7 and the 13 of the G7. On the C6-9, the A minor pentatonic is put good to use. The extension on the A minor pentatonic scale, you probably know them by now if you check the whole video, is the 9 and the 13. So you get the 9 and the 13 on the C6-9. Second example, pentatonic jazz line. <laughs> On 
and the D minor. 9, 11, I've used the A minor pentatonic scale. The extensions you get is the 9 and the 11. In the second bar, I play a G7 altered sound. For this, I use the B flat minor pentatonic scale and get the alterations. The flat 9 is the A flat, the flat 10 is the B flat, the flat 5 is the D flat, and the flat 13 is the E flat. These are the notes I'm getting on the G7 also when I'm using a B flat minor pentatonic there. On the last bar, I play the C minor 9 sharp 11 and I use the B minor pentatonic scale to get the sharp 11 sound. Getting in the 9, and that's the D, the sharp 11 is the F sharp and the A is the 13 on my C major 9, 13. Explore the pentatonic sound. When you want to know more of the pentatonic sound and want a head start, you are very welcome to check the Pentatonics Manual Volume 1. Good overview of the scale, chord relationships, many pentatonic exercises and a great pentatonic jazz licks and lines section. You will find the link in the description. Another great video is getting the great jazz sound play minor chords. Check the next video and get the great jazz tool on dominant chords. Next up, how to play minor on dominant chords and three great minor sounds. You're welcome to check out my website to subscribe to my newsletter. Share your questions in the comments below. All the links mentioned in this video are available below in the description. So check out the description and play music and have fun.